We will now continue to create a part that will hold the crankcase and uh, we can call it a pillar and I will drag a cylinder and I will drop it here in the scene so that it will be a separate part in the scene. Then we will change the size of the cylinder. We go to the IntelliShape level and the diameter should be 28 millimeters and the height will also be 28. Then we deselect the cylinder and select it in part level and turn on the tri-ball and we will place the tri-ball in the center of the cylinder. So I will loosen the tri-ball and then right click this handle and choose between face and point and we select the, uh, the top face and this edge and then we lock the tri-ball and the tri-ball is now placed in the center of uh, the cylinder. Then we deselect this axis by clicking outside the tri-ball. Then we will move the cylinder so it will be placed on this uh, pipe. So we left click and hold the center handle and move it to the pipe and then we use the shift key to snap to the center of the pipe. And here we let go the left mouse button and then the shift key. So and uh, next will be to position it in the right location here on the pipe. So we right click this handle and choose edit distance from point and we'll select this face and it should be 25 millimeters. Then we turn off the tribal. Next step will be to remove some materials. We have to cut a hole through uh, the cylinder. So we will grab a cut cylinder, drag it and we drop it here. And this hole should go right through the cylinder. So when the cursor is inside the hole, we right click. And here we choose forward end condition will be through part. And we will do it the opposite direction also. Uh, we right click inside the hole, come up here, edit backward end condition through part. So now the hole goes right through the part. The next step will be to put it in right position so that it will cut a hole through the cylinder and remove material here in the pipe. And we will use the tribal to do that. We turn on the tribal. And then we will right click this orientation handle and we will uh, select parallel to axis and we will click here on the surface of the pipe. And then we deselect the uh, axis by clicking outside the tribal and next we will position it in the center of the pipe. So we will right click this 2D handle, right click and choose to center point of this surface. Like so. And now we have to change the diameter so it will have the right diameter. So I will turn off the tribal and then I will grab this handle and press and hold the shift key and it will snap to the cylinder. So even if I move the cursor to the pipe, it still snaps to the cylinder. So we have to do it in a, another way. So I let go the left mouse button and the shift key. Then I grab this handle and bring the, back the diameter. Then I will grab this handle and I move the cursor to the surface of the pipe. Here I will press and hold the shift key and move the cursor a little bit. And then I will snap to this surface on the pipe. So now I can let go the left mouse button and the shift key and we have the right diameter of 12 millimeters. Next step will be to remove material from the cylinder because eventually we will mount this bracket onto the pillar. So we come over here to select a cut extrude and we will drop this cut extrude somewhere between this point and this edge. So I will drop it here and then I grab this handle and use the shift key to snap to this edge. And when we snap to the edge, we will also snap to this node that is highlighted here. So I will let go the left mouse button and then the shift key. 
Then I grab this handle, use the shift key to snap to this edge here, and we will snap to this node. So I will let go the left mouse button and the shift key. So we'll do the same with this handle. Press and hold the shift key and snap. And this cut extrude will go through the cylinder. So I will right click here inside the cut extrude and I will choose forward end condition through part. And then we have to adjust the depth of the cut extrude. So I will right click this handle and edit distance from center point. I can choose this edge or this surface. It doesn't matter which one, but I will click here on the surface and the distance will be 10 millimeters. So now we have removed enough material to mount this bracket on the pillar. Then we will continue to build this uh, pillar. So I will come up here, select the cylinder, drop it in the center, and I will change the diameter to 6 millimeters. And the height should be 50, and it is. Then I will add another cylinder, drop it here in the center. And I will get this message because the camera is so close to the pillar. So it says the new shape is larger than the current view. Do you want to shrink the shape to fit the view? Yes, yeah, so I will get a small cylinder now. So I will change the diameter here to 15 and the height will be 25 and hit enter. Then I will press the I key and the D key and then I will save the scene and we will continue in the next video.